Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Braided Man Studios, and in this video, I wanted to show you the web server. So uh, I'm going to start by just showing you an overview, and then I'll have some other videos on how to extend it and do whatever you want. So basically, a web server is uh, a way for you to interact with the server remotely, and you can do this by going to the web page of the server and passing in the port number. So I'm going to quickly show you how to get started with the web server uh, now that you've downloaded it and installed it. So I'm actually going to get rid of that guy out of the scene to show you how it is from scratch. So from scratch, you're going to go to Tools, Forge Networking, Web Server, which will create this auto start web server. And if you look in there, it's going to have a port number of 15940 by default. So what we can do is basically once we start playing, it's going to create a web server for us that we can go to on our web browser. Any web browser will do. So if I press play uh, and I host the server, and I'm just going to move over here. Uh, I then can go over here and go to the IP address of my web server, uh, 127.0.0.1, which is my local host. Uh, if you're hosting this on the internet, on a cloud web server, you'd put in that IP address. And then you're going to put in the port number, 15940, the port number that we saw inside of the Unity editor. So uh, once, well, let's make sure I type that right, 127.0.0.1, 15940. Uh, so here we are on the web server, and it's not very beautiful right now. We're going to make it look pretty as time goes on, but you'll notice that it has some statistics. It has a start time of when the server started. It has a runtime. If I refresh, that runtime will go up. It has a bandwidth in count and a bandwidth out. And then if you go to the commands area, you can actually input some commands that affect the server. And we'll see this in action soon enough. So uh, you can type out uh, help, first of all, which will give you a list of commands that you can do by default. We'll also have video tutorials on how to extend these commands and add your own commands into the system. And since this web server is running directly on top of the server that is hosting the game, you have access to every variable that uh, is public, you have access to every player, you have access to pretty much everything, and you are able to manipulate the entire server from this web portal. So this is a great way to be able to, let's say, if you uh, built out your headless server and you run your server out on the cloud or your uh, whoever's hosting your game uh, runs it out on the cloud, you can go to the IP address and the port number of the web portal and be able to manipulate it. Of course, we'll add in password protection and all of that stuff uh, very soon, and we will make it easy for, uh, for security, and you can choose whatever security uh, methods you wish. Uh, this is a full web server, so technically you can make a website on it if you wanted to. Um, and if you uh, know how, you can actually connect it up to MySQL or other databases or files on the system and deliver that information to whoever comes to this uh, web portal. So that is a high overview of uh, the system, and we're going to see uh, some of it in action in the next videos.